Um, so Mason and Rachel, thank you both so much for taking the time to chat with me today. Um, I want to start at where we left off at the end of season one. Um, Rachel, your character Mia was sort of warming up to getting back with Mason's character of Andrew, um, but Andrew didn't want to simply be the rebound guy. So we leave things off a bit uncertain as we end the season. Where do we see you guys as we kick off season two? Well, he's booed up. So yeah. Yeah, boot up, living, <laughs> living, living the coupled life. That's okay. But that's uh, something to commend, I think, with Andrew is he respects that Mia is not necessarily in a place to uphold a relationship or to oh, yeah, support it. him the way that he would like to support her. Yeah, for sure. You know, that's part of it. Um, so he just he moved on uh, in a romantic sense. And he's got a new girlfriend, Lucy, played by the wonderful Ava Capri, who's wildly talented. Mm -hmm. And we'll just have to see where uh, me and Andrew fall in line with one another, whether it is platonic, because they are very platonically compatible, mm -hmm. or if it's romantic, because that'd be dope too, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> see. Um, yeah, and me is definitely healing uh, from just all of the events of, of um, last season, last year. Um, could you imagine if we went through high school like last season, ninth grade, tenth grade? Last, yeah. <laughs> school. Um, anyway, yeah, she's definitely healing from that. So I, I think um, she's just trying to figure out her place where she fits, um, where she fits in this mm. little world in Atlanta. Um, yeah. Okay. So it seems like the new season starts off Mia a bit unstable, uncertain, but Andrew's pretty secure in this new relationship that's pretty Look at solid. You trying to get spoiled. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, right? Is, is, that, is that what it's looking like? It's like that's what it's sounding like. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what the trailer are doing. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, well, along with this relationship that may or may not come back together in this new season. Um, Rachel, you obviously had a lot of family issues back at home. Your character did in the first season. In this new season, your stepmom, played by Mandy Moore, is now pregnant. Um, are there any new challenges that Mia has to confront in her family dynamic this time around? Um, yes, first of all, I, it's Sophia Bush. I, they're oh, so sorry, the Sophia, oh my God. No, all good. Mandy Moore is also God, great. So though. sorry. I'm give her her, uh, her her recognition. Um, yeah, she. Um, there are some new um, developments, I guess, in in her her family life. Um, not to give things away, but she she might be on a new journey, exploring um, kind of uh, new relationships in her family life. And um, I think it's all like in an, in an effort to to kind of find her place and find her sense of home. So um, yeah, that's an exciting uh, journey mm -hmm. she is on this season. Mm -hmm. And can you go a bit deeper into those new family relationships that she's ex exploring? Um, obviously, <laughs> Sophia's character um, as you know um, Mia's stepmom that mm -hmm. started off a bit, you know, wobbly. That wasn't yeah. too secure, but it seemed like things were getting there at the end of yeah. the new season. Where where does that sort of look in this in season two? Yeah, I, it, it, um, I, we definitely see that grow, um, and kind of pick up where it left off, um, heading in, in a more positive direction, especially as, yeah, she's going to have a new family member. And so I think that relationship we see stabilize a little bit. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all you have um, for stability. Yeah. Um, Mason, it looks like based on the trailer, um, there will be a close relationship between you and Felix, perhaps. Tell me a bit more about your character's narrative and where do we, what do we see happen there between you and Felix? Oh, that's, that's I mean, who doesn't love Felix? Even yeah. if you're, you have a, a past record of bullying him, I think Andrew yeah. falls under the charm that is so eloquently showcased by one Anthony Turpel. Um, as far as his dynamic amongst uh, the rest of the cast members he's um it's funny as alluded in season one and Andrew has a lot of experience in aspects that maybe other characters don't and to be able to offer that up and his little nuggets of himbo wisdom I think uh kind of incite a lot of his uh interactions in and throughout the season but you'll see mm -hmm. you will see 
Mm -hmm. So what does this friendship look like between you and Felix? Because you two weren't necessarily that close in the first season. So what drew you guys together or what seems to draw you guys together just based on the trailer? Well, I think uh, specifically, if you recall in season eight, when Andrew is uh, sort of confronted by Felix, he then allows that conversation he has to incite how he interacts with him from the future. And that rings true through to season two in which Andrew, as whenever he relates to Felix, comes from a place of respect and understanding, despite also coming from his natural proclivity to be a goofball and poke fun at uh, little pieces of people, but still keep it entertaining and fun while also being honest, earnest, and thoughtful. Right. Um, I want to really quick touch on a couple um, non-Love Victor um, projects because Mason, I know this wasn't the only or the last time you were working with Isaac Aptiker and Elizabeth Berger. You just finished or maybe you're still filming a new project of theirs. I want you back. Can you tell me um, a little bit more about that project? Of course I can. Yeah, I can gush about. I mean, I, I, Isaac was on, uh, so I have finished him since, him since home. Isaac would be on set and similar to how he was specifically on Love Victors, he would throw out these little nuggets of jokes and he would be like, say, say like this. And, and you have someone like Jason Orley, who's famous for being like, yeah, that's perfect. Let's find a way to put it in. And the amount of collaborative energy that sort of exudes off of the both of them and the rest of the team, uh, Jenny Slate specifically, is just palpable. And it makes for such a rewarding and fun experience through and through. Mm -hmm. So. Can't wait to see it. You and me and, both. Yeah, and we have that and also the new Scream to look forward to on your end, which yep. is going to be very exciting. A very good 2022 for you. Um, <laughs> Rachel, though, um, I wanted to obviously touch on This Is Us. We're about to come on the final season. Um, any feelings you have as we're about to enter this final season? This obviously was such a huge part of your career up to this point. Um, it must feel bittersweet coming to this end. Yeah, um, I, well, first I'm, I'm so grateful to, to Isaac and Elizabeth, um, but yeah, it's such a special show. Um, I've loved playing teen Beth cause I, I, I love, a, I love Beth and Randall and to be a part of that, um, that story has been just, such a privilege honestly um so I'm definitely um sad to see it come to an end but um I don't know I feel like it's coming to an end at the right time and I always love when shows are able to to tie things up the way that they want to and um the way that they deserve to be tied up and and not with pressure from like network I love that they're doing it on their own time and so I'm really excited mm -hmm. about how they're gonna wrap up yeah. And do we have anything else to look forward to from you coming up? Um, perhaps. Okay. Uh, yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Little tease. <laughs> Sounds good. Sheesh. Well, thank you both so much for chatting with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Max. Appreciate All right. Have, you. have a great day.